Okay, so normally we should start in five minutes, but um, I think uh, everyone is here, so we can start now. Um, so hello, I'm Gregory Clement, um, and I will talk uh, about uh, the SD and uh, AMMC uh, uh, card, and uh, especially uh, about their uh, new spin mode. Uh, um, so yes, I'm work at Free Electron, I um, made several development uh, on Armada based board and recently uh, I work on uh, adding support for uh, a new controller which supports uh, all this new mode. And that's why uh, I work on this talk. Um, first, a quick presentation of what are SD card and EMMC. Um, they are common point, they both came from uh, MNC, um, the multimedia card and uh, they increase uh, their band rights uh, as new version um, of the standard uh, come. And now uh, they can reach uh, more than uh, 400 megabytes um, by second. In theory, of course, it depends on the official hardware, but uh, for the point of view of the protocol, you can reach this, uh, this uh, speed. Um, and uh, the both of these uh, uh, of the chip are uh, supported in Linux in the MMC subsystem. Um, so what we are going to see is first is a um, uh, presentation of the SD card and the MMC and uh, uh, where they come from and their common points are different. Uh, then we are going to see the um, initial support in Linux, so how it comes uh, in Linux. And uh, after this, we are going to, to see the new spin, is a new spin mode uh, in, um, in both uh, versions of, uh, of this card, uh, MMC card and SD card, uh, EMMC and SD card. And then finally, we are going to see the state of the support for this uh, new spin mode uh, in, in the Linux kernel. Um, so the SD card, um, than for um, uh, secure digital, but secure in the sense of the uh, copyright content. It's not secure as a secure boot, for example. It's more the, the idea, I think, was to uh, allowing to uh, uh, provide SD card with uh, movies on, the, on it or, or um, uh, music, something like that, and but uh, protected by uh, DRM, like you find in DVD. Um, from my point of view, I never seen this kind of SD card. That was uh, the first idea to create this, uh, this new um, system. It was uh, introduced in um, uh, 1899, uh, and uh, it's based on the uh, MMC uh, protocol. It's a Canon F extension of it. And um, it's uh, standardized by the SD uh, association. Uh, which was creating uh, actually after uh, the first version of the of the protocol in 2000. Um, at the very beginning, the even the, the protocol are completely closed. Them, uh, if um, you are not a member of the SDA, but um, pretty quickly, uh, even the member of the SDA uh, provide uh, the the part of the of the protocol. And uh, now you can officially um, have uh, the specification, the uh, simple specification, but which is um, enough to uh, support uh, most of the mode. Uh, there is the only the secure part, which is uh, uh, you can't access, and also some um, application not um, the top. But for if you want to create a, a driver, you have enough documentation. Um, so what is the SD card itself? Uh, but it's um, a flash chip uh, with a small uh, controller embedded in a, in a card. Um, at the very beginning, in this flash chip, it was not uh, uh, non-flash, it was more nor flash. Uh, now I'm pretty sure that is uh, only uh, non-flash uh, embedded on it. And it uh, you find uh, nine pins, uh, so the clock, uh, the command line, the four data line, and then a um, uh, line for uh, power and ground. Um, you have a, a SPI compatibility mode. So in this mode, 
the um, usage of the pin are modified. So the uh, date three uh, become the chip select. Uh, the uh, command line becomes the data in, and the data uh, zero becomes data out. And in the initialize uh, released, uh, it was uh, the clock was uh, limited to uh, 25 megahertz, uh, exactly like the uh, first release of the MNC spec. The SDBus protocol itself. Um, is a command in data bit stream, so uh, you have a, a start bit and uh, an uh, end bit. Um, you have the command and the rep response of the command on the command line, and the data uh, associated to this command uh, on the data lines. Uh, so uh, even if you can have uh, multiple data lines, the command are always uh, on a single line. Um, you, the principle is a basic uh, transaction uh, with a command and a, a response. And you can have uh, some operation which have a data token, but not, not all of them. And um, all the communication are initiated by the host. So it is really the host who uh, take care of, uh, uh, which always at, uh, initiate any, um, any uh, exchange. And um, also, the data transfer are uh, in block uh, with some CRC. Uh, the last thing is that you can uh, have uh, multiple uh, data blocks. Uh, in this case, uh, it's also the um, host which explicitly uh, stop uh, the uh, the number of uh, data blocks. So you have a you initiate uh, a, that, uh, um, a data transfer, and then at a point you have on the command line a specific command to say to the car to stop to send data or receive data. Um, so there is few difference between uh, SD card and MMC, uh, as, uh, even uh, at the beginning. So uh, in the initial version of the MMC, you can use only uh, one line, uh, whereas since the, the beginning on SD card, you can use uh, uh, four lines for the, for the data. Um, but now nowadays, uh, the MMC, uh, there is some card like uh, MMC Plus, or MMC, uh, something like that, can go to uh, eight data lines. Um, there is no DRM, uh, so no secure part in the MMC. And uh, also now the common set uh, diverge. Um, maybe something I did not mention is uh, uh, on top of the, the small command and so, uh, so something like that, there is a um, all the uh, command uh, set uh, sent by the host I specified in the uh, documentation, and uh, all these commands have a special uh, meaning. We are going to see, for example, the uh, command six, which will be used when you want to switch from a mode to another mode. You have some some command to um, uh, change the voltage, command to uh, uh, ask from uh, ID uh, to the card, and so on. So at the beginning, of course, they have the same set of command, but then when SD card uh, extends, they add their own set of the command. Uh, for example, at the very beginning, there are specific commands for the secure part. And uh, EMMC, when it evolves, uh, will uh, have also another set of commands. So you can have a different command uh, number, which at the end do more or less the same thing, but they diverge from, uh, from this point. And uh, especially, we are going to see it with. Um, uh, I think it was for the uh, for the tuning. Uh, they do the more or the same thing, but with a common uh, different common uh, number. And uh, also, a common part with MMC and SD card is they, they both have uh, the uh, SPI compatibility mode um, because actually uh, this compatibility mode came also from MMC. Um, yes, another thing about uh, SP, uh, SPI compatibility mode is uh, that it's pretty different. It's not only uh, the wire which are different. Is uh, uh, As I said, the SDBus is a bitstream uh, mode, whereas uh, SPI is uh, byte-oriented. So it changes something on, on the way you pass uh, the data. Uh, of course, at the upper level, so the command are the same, the, the, the meaning of the command are the same, but the way you, you pass the command, it, it is different. 
Um, now we are going to the EMMC. So um, EMMC is a, a MMC extension um, a standardized, standardized by the MMC Association, uh, but also by the GDEC. Uh, GDEC is more about uh, solid uh, state storage. Uh, and as EMMC is a unmedic uh, MMC, so it's soldered on the board, uh, then um, they joined their effort to standardize the, this uh, uh, this protocol. And uh, now uh, all the new uh, specifications are pub uh, published by the, the GDEC. Um, so as I say, MMC stands for Embedded Multimedia Card. And the first mention of the uh, EMMC in the MMC spec was uh, in the spec 4.1 in um, 2007. But it was not to adjust. We have a few words about it, but not really a specific uh, feature uh, with it. It's later that we are going to see this. So how it is is also um, a flat chip with also a small controller on it. But this time it uh, um, in the BGA uh, chip, uh, and uh, the pinout of the BGA is also standardized. Uh, um, uh, and among them, you have. Um, uh, 14 important pins, so the clock, the, um, the command line, and then you have eight uh, data lines, and uh, you have uh, also uh, two kinds of um, uh, voltage line, uh, uh, for uh, one for um, the chip and the flash itself, and another which will be used by the signal. We are going to say that uh, to achieve a uh, um, higher rate, uh, we were going to use a smaller uh, voltage, and uh, so it, it is uh, provided by this one. Then with the uh, version uh, 4.4, uh, one more point pin, pin with was uh, added, it was the reset uh, one, uh, so an hardware reset at uh, directly uh, on the MMC. And then with version uh, 5.0, the data strobe line, and this one will be used for uh, high speed, and we are going to see it uh, later. Um, something to to say is that f uh, uh, for EMMC since uh, 4.3, the SP, uh, SPI uh, compatibility mo mode was removed. So we are no more um, uh, there. No more the EMMC are no more expected to uh, answer to the SPI uh, uh, um, command. Um, whereas for the for the SD card, you, we still have the SPI mode uh, compatibility even now, but uh, with a restriction is that uh, the in SPI mode, you can only handle the command until the version 2 of the SD card. All the newer commands are not supported. So you can send this command, but they are going just to be ignored, but uh, no, not used. Um, and in the initial re uh, realize, uh, the, the clock of the bus was uh, uh, 52 megahertz. So the protocol actually is, um, as uh, both came from uh, MMC, the protocol was uh, is the same. Um, so we it's uh, also uh, uh, common in response on a single line. Then we have dedicated uh, data lines. So, but here you can uh, uh, go to up to eight um, that, uh, data lines. But everything uh, else I is the same. And of course, as I said, the difference will be in upper layer in the, uh, the command uh, supported and uh, um, which are different between SD card and MMC. Um, so the, um, as uh, MMC is more uh, MMC is more or less just uh, MMC soldered in the board. Uh, they are pretty the same, but there are few differences. Um, uh, the first one is uh, the fact that it's uh, not removable. Uh, but then there are some additional features in the um, EMMC, so like uh, uh, partitioning, uh, device information you can have directly uh, from the EMMC, like uh, you can have information about the geometry uh, of the flash inside the EMMC, so something more advanced that uh, for the MMC. Um, another uh, thing is that now it's very hard, or maybe not possible, to find EMMC card. I think the no more. Um, it's no more used, uh, so it's, it's really, really the EMMC that uh, 
uh, now the MMC protocol are really driven by the MMC uh, itself. Even if, if you read the last spec uh, specification, they are still mention the MMC card uh, and MMC plus, but I didn't see uh, any controller uh, supports them. So we have, we have seen the, um, uh, the, the EMMC and SD card and uh, where they come from. And now we are going to see uh, how they were supported in uh, Linux. So um, the framework was uh, added uh, in uh, 2004, uh, so before Git. Uh, in uh, 2.69, by uh, by Russell King, uh, we um, in the initial commit he said is that he, he takes some inspiration by uh, the underd uh, org project, uh, which uh, wanted to put Linux on PDA, but he just inspired on it, but uh, rewrite it uh, uh, from scratch. And uh, then later, the um, SD card support was uh, I did uh, in 2005 in 2.614 by Pierre Osman. Oh, I made a typo, it's 2S for Osman. Um, who became maintainer in 2006, uh, which is interesting with his first commit that he said that uh, uh, SDI is, uh, the, the, the SD specification is supposed to be closed, but uh, even uh, SanDisk uh, provide the specification, so uh, I think uh, the um, NDI about it uh, is uh, uh, have no, va no, va no value, and um, so it start to implement on base based on the on the specification, and then later uh, it will become really um, officially accessible uh, pr from the SDI uh, from the SDI association. Um, in 2006, with uh, 2.6.17 kernel, there was the, the support for the uh, secure digital host control inter controller interface. Uh, so it's uh, standardization of a controller. And uh, it, it's if you want to support uh, SD card, you don't have to use them. But most of the uh, controller uh, are based on this uh, on this one, on this interface. Uh, and if you have a look on the code, um, half of the drivers uh, are based on, uh, on this one. The um, high speed mode support uh, for, MMC, for MMC uh, was uh, added in uh, 2.6.20. And uh, in the same release, the high speed mode support for the SD card uh, was uh, added too. And the SDIO extension uh, was uh, I did uh, uh, in 2007. So the SDIO, I didn't mention it. It was uh, uh, to um, use uh, now the the, the uh, what you you find the most is uh, using uh, the Wi-Fi wi Wi-Fi wi card. But it was uh, you have also uh, a serial card and GPS. It was most common uh, card uh, you, you use in SDIO. So the code is uh, located in drivers MMC and the header in uh, include Linux MMC. Uh, it's currently maintained now by the by uh, Half uh, Hansen, um, and the code is separate in two parts. So we have the core part uh, where you have the uh, protocol and a common function between uh, uh, EMMC and SD card, and uh, you have the host uh, directory where you have the support for all the controller. Um, and among them, you have the SDHC uh, controller, which are maintained by uh, Adrian Hunter. Um, yeah, there is also the SP, SPI mode, which is uh, supported uh, in MMC uh, SPI.C. But currently, uh, there is no, no maintainer for it. But even there, if there is still a uh, new code uh, will come in here. Um, so, um, now we are going to focus on the spin mode improvement. So the first one was uh, uh, pretty old now. It was uh, uh, the high spin mode. Uh, it's mainly uh, uh, passing from uh, 26 megahertz to uh, uh, 52 for uh, MMC and pass for 25 megahertz to uh, 50 for SD card. Um, but um, what is um, bring is 
uh, the usage of the uh, command 6, so to switch uh, the mode. Uh, this command was there from the beginning of the, of, the, um, of the specification, but now it is really used to do something. And so uh, what it introduced is the way to uh, switch from a mode to another mode. So typically, and it's what we always find is, of course, you start uh, by default on the lower mode, and then you uh, read uh, the capability of the card, you compare this capability to the capability of the host, and then, uh, depending on the, uh, uh, the, the best capability you can have, you use the command 6 uh, to uh, request the, the card to, to, uh, to or inform, for this one, the card that you are going to, to switch to a, a, a new mode. Um, so it was introduced in uh, the V2 of the SD uh, specification and the V4 of the MMC specification. And then in 2010, uh, with uh, the SD3.01, uh, uh, the uh, ultra speed, oh yeah, yes. it was ultra high speed mode, which, wa uh, which were introduced with uh, several new, uh, new modes. So uh, uh, SDR12, SDR25, SDR15, and so on. So all the name of this uh, uh, mode are based on the uh, maximum bound drive you can achieve uh, with this mode. Um, so uh, uh, it's uh, another thing is that um, this, uh, if you compare the uh, SDR12 and the SDR25, is actually exactly the same bond rise that you can achieve in default speed, so at uh, 25 megahertz with uh, four, uh, four bytes, you have uh, 12 uh, megabytes uh, per second. And uh, so the main difference for these two modes is the fact that uh, y your, uh, your signal uh, are uh, under uh, 1.8 volt instead of 3 volt. So the main difference is just here. Uh, but it allows you to either uh, uh, both uh, consume less, but also your um, signal are more stable because um, if you have a big range of, uh, of voltage, then uh, you have some time to go to uh, higher voltage, lower voltage, so you can um, have more, more stable things. But at the opposite, it's also you need also to have um, a controller who can um, who must be more sensible because they have to make the big difference between uh, zero and one point eight instead of zero and three three. Um, but the um, uh, so uh, for this new mode for the UHS, uh, the this uh, 1.8 volt is uh, mandatory, and so this uh, introduce a new step in the command switch uh, sw sequence. Uh, so now uh, you still uh, uh, look for the capability of the card of the host, and then you try to switch to. Uh, the first switch command you send is to change the, the voltage. Uh, and if it works, then you can uh, try a new speed. If you can't uh, switch to a, a new, uh, new voltage, then you won't be able to use a UHS mode. So it's mandatory to, to use a 1.8 uh, volt. Um, yes, more uh, data about it. Uh, so uh, as it's not, not for clear, uh, so SDR12 is at 25 megahertz, and it's because uh, you have uh, four lines, so it's the same for all of them. The most, the interesting one are the last two one. So in uh, SDR104, uh, uh, then um, actually no, I was wrong. I think, I I think the data is. 104 megahertz or so. Um, and for this one, as you are greater than 100 megahertz, you also need to do um, uh, speed tuning. Uh, um, it is done with uh, command uh, 18. So what it is, is this uh, as the, the main problem is uh, the clock always came from the host. Um, but when you read data, you send your clock, but there is uh, uh, um, a way back to uh, to the card, and then it, it returns to you. And so you, you, you can have a, um, a little difference between uh, the clock 
uh, seen by uh, the card and the clock generated by your host. And to be sure that you're exactly on the same clock, um, then you have, uh, in this command, you just send a, a known pattern. So uh, you ask to, uh, actually, you ask to the card to send you a known pattern. And then knowing this pattern, you can uh, tune, ex uh, finally tune your uh, host to exactly know when you have to uh, uh, sample uh, the, the data. So this tuning mode uh, is also available for um, SDR50 and DDR50, but for this one, it's not mandatory, whereas for uh, SDR104, uh, it's mandatory to have this, this tuning uh, state. Um, in DDR50, uh, uh, your clock run at uh, 50 megahertz, but the, uh, in this mode, the data sample are uh, the, uh, the data are sampled uh, on each front of the clock. So in the rising front and the um, uh, lower front. Um, then, uh, no, no, no just before in MMC uh, with MMC uh, 4.4 uh, vers uh, version uh, uh, in. 2009, uh, there was a DDR support for uh, the EMMC and the MMC. So um, we are still at uh, 52 megahertz, like the high speed mode. But the main difference is uh, we uh, have a double uh, rate, uh, uh, double data rate, it's for the DDR. Um, so uh, we sample at uh, uh, front and, and uh, the, the opposite. Um, the difference between uh, the SD card is we still use the switch command, but with not with the same um, the same arguments. Uh, for uh, SD card is really a different speed mode. So you have the uh, SD, uh, the DDR50 uh, mode, whereas from uh, MMC it's not a different mode. Is the um, the width uh, of the um, uh, of the bus, which is different. So we said that we are uh, in uh, f uh, four byte or eight byte, but on double rate. So at the end, it's the same information, but uh, sent in a different way. Um, another uh, change is that uh, uh, unlike uh, the um, SD card, you can still use um, the double rate uh, at the three volt. Uh, you, you it's not mandatory to switch to uh, 1.8 volt to use uh, this mode. In uh, with MMC uh, 4.5 in uh, true uh, uh, in uh, 211, um, with the um, HH, uh, uh, high speed uh, 200 was uh, uh, introduced, so it's just a matter to uh, are going faster. So to uh, instead of uh, uh, 52 megahertz, then we can go up to uh, 200 megahertz. Uh, so it's still a single data rate. Um, but here uh, we have also the tuning command. The same is the um, the same kind of commands that are used uh, for uh, SDR 104, but. Uh, this, this this time for MMC is a uh, 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 command uh, 21, whereas it was command uh, uh, 19. But exactly exactly the, sa the same uh, idea. So you uh, you request the the, the 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 EMMC to send you uh, a known pattern, and then you adjust uh, your uh, uh, your host with this pattern. Uh, this one now must be used at uh, 1.8 volt or 1.2 uh, uh, volt uh, to, to be able to, to use. And uh, with MC uh, 5.0 was uh, in uh, um, 2013, um, the HS40 uh, 40, uh, 400 was introduced. So it's the keep the same uh, um, uh, clock speed that the HA HA200, uh, but now uh, we use the um, double data rate, so uh, the two front of the clock. Um, 
For this, um, we, we, a new uh, signal was introduced, uh, the data strobe. Uh, with, so the, the, the data strobe is here to uh, help to the host to be sure that you, the data you sample is valid. So uh, more or less, it's just the same, uh, the same uh, uh, rate of the clock, but uh, with um, a 19 degrees phase, so it's just uh, uh, between each one, and it helps to uh, be sure that uh, when you uh, sample the rate, it's uh, valid. Um, so uh, as for uh, HS200, you have uh, also the tuning command, and uh, also it must be used at, uh, at a low voltage. And with MMC, oh, and also the data strub is uh, used uh, during the data, and uh, so on uh, all the data lines, and also uh, when you have the CRC response, so a small part of the exchange, uh, and in the MMC uh, uh, 5.1, so in uh, uh, 2014, uh, the NN strob was added, so it's uh, allowed to use this uh, data strob line uh, also during the uh, command response, so it's also uh, um, uh, thanks to this, you, you have uh, more reliable data also dur during uh, this uh, sequence. The last uh, spin mode uh, we find uh, is uh, the UHS-2, which was uh, introduced in SD 4.1 in 2013. So it's a completely new mode. Um, you have also, with this one, a new set of signal. Um, so you, you have a, a, a differential signal, two, two, two pair of differential signal, D0 and D1. You also have, uh, here it may be not clear, but you also have two uh, voltage, uh, as we have for the MMC, you have a voltage for the um, the flash itself and the controller in itself, and then voltage for the signal. Um, the um, event, the clock is also differential, but the clock is remain uh, pretty uh, low, so only uh, 26 or 52 megahertz. And uh, the idea here is uh, use the same kind of of uh, protocol you have on uh, uh, USB 3, PCI Express, SATA. Uh, so. Um, a very fast line uh, uh, with um, so this differential uh, signal. Um, and then, so you have this reference clock, and then uh, both the uh, card and the um, host then use PLL to internally uh, have signal running uh, uh, 15 or uh, uh, 30 uh, times the the, uh, the speed of the clock. So thanks to this, you can achieve um, uh, 312 megabytes uh, per, per second, uh, depending on the mode supported. Um, so it's at a very low level, it's the first change. Um, also, but something to know, it's a completely different protocol. So if we have a look on the, on the first slide, we have, yes. Uh, this SD card here, this one support UHS-2, and uh, what happened is when you uh, switch from uh, UHS-1 or any other mode from UHS-2, then you don't use anymore this set of pin, and you just use the new set of pin. So it's really a completely uh, new uh, protocol, a completely new um, uh, set of signal, and so uh, the compatibility is just because we we, you keep the old uh, line, but uh, uh, when you switch from a mode to another mode, uh, internally it's different. And because, uh, no, that, that, uh, so um, here uh, you don't have uh, anymore the different line with a command line and, uh, and a different data line and so on. Here we are just. Uh, uh, very speed uh, data line dedicated, and uh, when we use D0 on D1, it's um, uh, you can either use uh, D0 uh, on a, on a way and D1 on a, on the other way, so you do f full duplex, or you can also aggregate uh, the two lines to have a, a half duplex and a, a either speed rate. But 
uh, what you exchange here is a um, uh, message package on um, both ways. Uh, we also saw that uh, when with um, um, uh, SD, SD bus or MMC bus, uh, it's uh, always uh, the there are some kind of packet which always come from uh, the the host and the other packet from come from the from the SD card. Here you can exchange the same kind of package, but it's just uh, inside of it you have different header and different payload data. But it's completely uh, uh, it's from my point of view is it's closer that you can find on a TCP IP or this kind of, of protocol. And then. Um, it's still possible, but at a very uh, upper layer, to have uh, um, comp compatibility with uh, SD card, but it's just a way to send the SD command, which are uh, uh, encapsulated with uh, in this um, um, uh, packet. Uh, so it's allow you to still uh, um, exchange data uh, with the, the SD card, and you don't have to uh, modify your upper part of your application. But you still need to have a completely new driver, because you still need to, for the uh, lower level, when you want to uh, negotiate from, uh, some uh, speeds, when you want to um, um, manage the error, then for this one, you, you have to uh, know the uh, packet message and how it works. Um, and uh, recently, this year, uh, we, uh, the, we have a UHS-3, but from what I saw, it's just uh, a way to be able to go faster, but this is the same protocol. It's just uh, the difference is really at the low level to, to, to gain a faster, uh, uh, faster clock. Um, t -t 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 yes. Now uh, we are going to see uh, the support of all this mode in, uh, in Linux. Um, so uh, as we saw, uh, the DDR50, so it was the DDR mode for uh, EMMC. It, it was uh, uh, added in 2010 um, with 2.6.37. Uh, um, the UHS-1 support, so with all the sub-mod, uh, was uh, added uh, in uh, 3.0 uh, uh, kernel in 2011. Then the HS-200 was added in 3.10, and the HS-400 was uh, uh, added in 3.16. Uh, and uh, two years ago, the uh, retuning uh, was also added. Uh, so the retuning is, um, I didn't speak about it, it's uh, just uh, a way when if you have some uh, um, suspend or, or some uh, aborted uh, command or something like that, you can request to do a retune uh, dur during the life of the protocol to be sure that you're already aligned with, uh, uh, with the, the good uh, uh, frequency. And um, Last year, the end strobe uh, we saw uh, was I did in with uh, 4.8. So, for Linux, um, it's not too much actually, um, the because the um, the signal voltage switch uh, which is needed for um, all the the really new mode uh, is supported in um, the framework uh, in core.c, so really uh, in the core of the framework. And it's make use of the regulator framework. Uh, so uh, most of the time, what you have to do, even uh, if you add a new driver, you don't have to do uh, too much. It's handled at the core, at the core framework. And uh, in, in your device tree, you just have to enter a new, uh, a new regulator, uh, which always call a VQ MMC. And then that's all. And once we have this, uh, as the way to uh, switch uh, signal is uh, common, uh, then the, the, the framework will uh, take care of it. So you don't have to do uh, too much um, for a uh, controller for this uh, particular part. Um, then um, the tuning, which is used by uh, EMMC and SD card, 
Uh, so there is a global function present in the core, but here um, each um, controller have some uh, hardware fertility, hardware acceleration, acceleration. So uh, the implementation is done really at a driver level. So you, you can use some common function, but you, you also um, can put your own function how many steps of the of this uh, sequence to uh, uh, do uh, what you want and or or at the opposite uh, tell to the framework to don't do anything and then your hardware will take care of all the all the exchange of the of the tune mode. Um, the global switch uh, switching sequence uh, is handled by the core, but here again, uh, if uh, your hardware provides some uh, acceleration or some helper, you can provide your own um, your own function, or you can just uh, uh, skip uh, some part uh, done by uh, by the core. So for the kernel, that was not too much to to add. Uh, of course. Uh, the the devil is in, is, a, is in the detail because uh, when you have some uh, hardware which can do something automatically, maybe it's not really fit in the in the kernel. So you have to really see how you you can uh, um, uh, enter in it. And uh, and uh, even recently, uh, we made uh, some evolution directly in the core to uh, to be able to. Uh, um, use uh, specific hardware uh, uh, facilities. Um, so uh, for uh, the future, um, uh, what are the missing parts and the challenge? For the EMMC uh, speed mode point of view, uh, I think there is uh, most of the development uh, are done. Uh, of course, uh, really for the the point of view of the support of the, of the protocol. Uh, from what I saw, I think everything is here. Uh, but of course, there's still uh, some uh, uh, queries to support a new driver, but it's more at the driver level than at, at, uh, at the framework level. Uh, for SD card, there is no support at all for uh, UHS2 and UHS3. Uh, but as you see, this is a completely new protocol, uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, I think another reason is um, I made some quick research, and um, most of the hardware controller I saw um, have support for uh, EMMC uh, specification uh, 5.1, so no problem. But most of, but many of them uh, uh, stop their uh, support for SD at the version three, and the version three of the, of the SD uh, spe uh, specification is the UHS one protocol. So. I think another reason to not having a UHS2 is maybe because there is a few hardware, at least for embedded system, <coughs> which support it. But there is, uh, um, I also find um, there is many IP which support uh, this one. Uh, from I, I saw some from uh, uh, Cadence, uh, Arizon, uh, and uh, uh, the other one. For, so all the IP are present, but I didn't uh, see them yet in the um, at SOC level. So, if you have any question, uh, feel free to, to ask. <coughs> so, you want to know if the SD card and MMC card uh, require some poor mode management? Um, they uh, provide some program management feature, uh, but I don't know if they are require uh, program management. Uh, but for example, you can. Thermal? Mm, I don't know. I, I, um, it's not some part I saw, so I don't know if there are some thermal. Uh, not sure, no. No question? No, yes? Uh, I have a question uh, regarding the debugging of uh, uh, HP protocol. So, uh, I can tell you some short story. A uh, few years ago, we had to yep. bring up. <laughs> <laughs> One, two? Okay. 
so a uh, few years ago we had to bring up uh, SDHCI controller in one ARM chip and people who designed this chip uh, was already fired. So uh, we had uh, bad documentation and we had to enable it. And what we try to do is to connect uh, logic analyzer to SD lines and try to debug. And we found few hardware issues and we spent few months trying to bring up it. And uh, maybe there is some easy way to find such issues. <laughs> what I can say is it's, uh, um, um, there is uh, a lot of uh, patches uh, come on the Linux for uh, managing quirks on many hardware uh, controller and, and card. So um, I'm not due to, uh, I'm not at all um, surprised that you have an issue, and because uh, there is the protocol which is pretty okay, and then the implementation is pretty different from the protocol. So we have a lot of queries to say, okay, uh, don't uh, uh, don't trust what the uh, uh, um, uh, host controller said. Uh, I know that it, it can work only on this way, on this way. So there is a lot of queries uh, uh, around it. And uh, um, that's also a problem of the framework is uh, at the beginning we have had a lot of queries there, there, and there. But from now, uh, there are some effort to to try to do it in more uh, global way, so we just keep the common part um, um, uh, common, and uh, each quirk is we try to put them on, on each driver if, if possible. But uh, yes, the, so that's why uh, when I wrote this this talk, um, um, finally I find it pretty no no much things to say because uh, actually from what I saw is a. Uh, the most hard part is not really um, apply the, um, uh, the protocol or follow the specification. Is more to deal with the real hardware uh, when they don't follow the protocol and find why and uh, and then we and as the hardware is as here, you just have to to do with it and to modify the code for this. Yes. I had a similar problem to you with a with a crappy hardware. And uh, I solved it <coughs> very quickly and with a trick. And I simply uh, slowed down the speed of the communication with the SD card. Well, I, I know <coughs> it's not the best, best option, but the crappy hardware uh, deserves it. <coughs> so for debugging some of these higher speed modes, what kind of uh, hardware tools do you use? I mean. Do you have any recommendations for any analyzers or any of that sort? Sorry, I have no uh, recommendation because I am, for myself, I didn't uh, work on this part. I'm, I'm more wrote on the part uh, to um, the, um, for the, the controller I, I work on, uh, the code was already there, all the, deb the hardware part was always debug, and then uh, it was most uh, um, of my work to uh, see how to um, uh, modify the code to fit the kernel uh, um, uh, standard, but this was not really on the on this part. So uh, I don't know uh, what the, the the hardware team and uh, use for debugging uh, the uh, this. Thing. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs>